start with the so we'll start with the second half of our house table three. So the published document is create an Excel table, connect it to HB, load data from internal height table to external height table, which subsequently loads your data into HBase table. So here uh, what we are going to do is here we'll create an internal height table whose data will load it in an external height table. So this external height table is connected to the HBase as well. So whenever I will load data into my external table, automatically that data will be loaded into HBase as well. So what different steps we have to follow? So the first step is we have to create an internal height table. Next we will create one file in which I have some set of records which is to be loaded in my internal table. Next step is we will create the HBase table which is having the same column family as I have uh, attributes in my internal table. Next we will create an external table which is connected to HBase as well. So accordingly we will write and query. Then we will load our data from internal table to external table which is resulting into a my data is getting loaded in HBase table as well. So we will check the contents of external height table as well as HBase table for the successful execution. So we will start with the so for that uh, obviously you have to start uh, with your virtual machine then we will start with the cloud era. So start Hive and start HBase parallelly. So your Hive is open, Hive is uh, started and similarly your HBase terminal is also open parallelly. So now uh, as we have discussed in previous video, uh, we have already seen the syntax for creation of internal table. Um, so kindly refer the previous video how to create an internal table. So if I here check the number of tables which are all are created, so you can see the number of tables which are created are two. So for that the command is show tables which will list the tables in height. So I have height internal table present over here. So if I display the content of internal table, select star from hive underscore internal. So these are the content of my internal table which I have loaded from data.txt. So this steps you can refer it from the previous video part 1. So now we will create an external table which is connected to my edge base. So we will write a query to create an external table. So for that the prerequisite is to create a edge base table before creating the external table. So we will go to the edge base and we will create here one edge base table. So for that the command is create table name. The table name, name will come in single quotes. So I am giving table name as table 4. And we have to mention a column family. So I am giving CF stands for column family. So here I am creating the table. So now my table is created. So now go to the hive and start creating the external table. So by, for creating the external table, the syntax is create external table. Be careful with the spellings create external table then I will give the name of my external table name so I am giving hive underscore ext1 because already I have a table with hive underscore ext so hive underscore ext1 is my table name in which I have mentioned the attributes of this table so the attributes of table are id of type in name of type varchar Okay, and salary is of type float. So we are creating a table, create external table with attribute id, name, and salary, which is of type int, bar, care, and float. Press enter. Then we have to set some parameters for this external table. So few things are case sensitive, such as we have to type store by in single quotes org 
Apache dot Hadoop dot Hive dot HBase dot capital H capital B HBase storage handler. So we'll check the spelling. So here Hadoop belongs to the Apache framework. So org dot Apache dot Hadoop dot as we are doing the connection between Hive and HBase, that's why Hive dot HBase dot we are trying to store our data from Hive platform to our HBase. That's why HBase storage handler. Okay. Complete the single code. Press enter. Then we are following some serialization, deserialization property to transfer our data from HDFS to HBase. That's why we are typing SER stands for serialization, D stands for deserialization properties. So, Saturday day properties means serialization, deserialization properties we are for using to transfer our data from Hive to HBase. So now, in bracket, we are writing hbase dot columns dot mapping. So here we are mapping our height attributes with the hbase columns. That's why hbase dot columns dot mapping equal to which, which attributes or column family we have to map it that we have to mention over here. So we are mentioning that he is my ID. Column family name is the attribute which is mapped with the height table name and salary. So double quotes complete and bracket complete. So here we are mapping our column family with the id name and salary then again we have a cats so we are setting some table properties so tdl properties in bracket here we we have to mention the table in which we have to store our high external table data so here we will be writing hbase dot table dot name what is the name of our height table so our height table name is what was it it was table 4 so we'll write over here table 4 complete the query and just execute it Okay, so there is some spelling mistake. We'll check it. So the first command was create external table. Hive ext1 is the table name. ID, name, salary. Next is stored by org.apache.hadoop.hive.hbase storage handler. with survey properties hbase yeah we did a mistake by typing the hbase here if you can observe here hbase spelling is wrong hbase dot columns dot mapping equal to colon p c of name salary okay then Table properties equal to hbase dot table dot name equal to table name. Okay, fine. Okay, still, there is some error. So we should be able to read the error. What exactly is it? Cannot recognize input near hbase dot table dot name. Okay, table 4. What is the name of my table? Table 4.
Okay. Again, we did a mistake of double quotes. I'll just execute the similar same query. Okay. So with survey properties, and then we'll set the table property. So here I missed out this double quote. You can see. This is completed equal to again double quotes and press enter. So now here our external table is created which is connected with my table table. So now now what till date or till this we perform steps are we have created a internal table hive underscore env. Then we have created a edge base table which is table four. Then we have created an external table named as Hive underscore exp one right now we will load our internal table data to an external table. So for that the syntax is insert into table name where I want to load the data. So hive underscore exp one is my external table name where I want to load the data from which table from internal table. So for that, I would write select all records that is star from hive underscore env. So what this query will perform is it will insert data into a table hive underscore exp one my external table connected to my edge base and we will load data from hive internal table. Press enter. So this will start my map release process and the internal table contains will be loaded into an external table along with this what my data will be stored in HPFS as well as my data will be loaded into an HBase table which is named as table code. So parallel my data is also getting copied into my HBase platform. So after executing this command, we will check the content of our external table as well as we will check the content of our table code. So right now my map is 0%, reduce is 0%. Now our map will be 100% after few seconds. Yeah, see. And reduce is 0. Now reduce 100%. So now we'll check the content of our first of all, external table. So select star from hive underscore exp1. So these are the content of my external table. So now we'll check the content of our HBase table, right? Table 4. So for that the command is scan table 4. So now as you can see, the same content which are there in external table are reflected in my HBase table. Akash, Amit, Karbi and Deepa. So I'll just compare both the names. You can see first record is Akash, second record is Amit, third record is Balbi, and the last record is Deepak, which is similar as my hand. So this is how we perform our operations where the first step is internal table creation, second step is load internal table with some file, third step is create the HBase table. Fourth step is create the external table. Then load next step is fifth step is load your external table with the internal table data, and then check the content of your external table and the HBase.